Okay, um, first Hi. of all, how long have you been homeless for? I've been homeless for about a year now. About a year, okay. Yeah. And uh, how did it all happen? So, I got quite ill and um, I'm, I moved up this way to stay with my dad and it sort of um, didn't quite work out because um, I haven't really seen my dad. Oh. I hadn't seen him for a long time and it, it, it wasn't the way it was, I thought it'd be. Um, so I just walked out and, um, yeah, since then, I've been on the street, like, it's been quite a struggle. And um, describe to us your first day when you became homeless. Yeah, it was, it was, it was very traumatic actually, yeah. yeah. I had so many bags at that point, now I've got nothing. <laughs> They've all been stolen or lost or, um, yeah. yeah, cold, freezing. Yeah? Yeah, oh. scary. Did other really people? Scary. Did other people help you in any way? I didn't know how to ask for help at that time. Is it? Yeah, it's too scared to ask really. Um, but yeah. How was your life like before you became homeless? My life was okay actually. Um, then I felt ill, felt fell ill, um, and uh, the family fell apart. So it, it, it wasn't too good in the end. I had a brilliant, brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant childhood and things like that, but then, yeah. Who did you have in your family? Um, my mum, my dad, I had my children. Oh, you had yeah. kids as well. Two How many? Two, yeah. If you don't mind me asking, what's the situation with them now? There was family at the moment. The other side. Okay. Yeah. So when was the last time you saw them? Um, about two years ago. Yeah. Are they quite young? Yeah. One seven, one eleven. Okay. Uh, and do your family know your situation? They know my situation, but they've tended to just um, stay to stay back, really. Oh, that's so sad to hear. Yeah, I know. Um, yeah, sometimes yeah. it's best to just... Did you not try and reach out to them or anything? I have done in the past, but, um, yeah, it's quite, quite a lot. So can I ask you, Claire, what's your toughest part being, about being homeless? What toughest? do you find the toughest? The toughest part about being homeless is being on my own. Yeah, um, having no money at the moment. Like to, to get in hostels, you've got to pay for it. Having to pay, and or they'll pick you off of the street, they'll put you into a hotel, and then next minute you're on the street again. Okay, so it's not a permanent solution. No. How much is it for the hostel? Sixteen pounds. One of them. Okay. Sixteen pounds. But look, there's one I found cheaper. But by now. Today it's gone. Okay. It's gone. Where, where do you currently sleep? Wherever I can. <laughs> where, um, where did you sleep last night? Last night I slept over there. I'm, no joke. Just by the station. Yeah. But it's always like, it'll always be like an in bit. Yeah. Yeah, so you can make a little bed and stay out of yeah. the rain. Yeah. Is that so where you're going to be sleeping tonight? Maybe. But yeah. hopefully not. I'm trying to <laughs> get some change together to get in somewhere because I'd like really shower. You come this way. And Claire, can I ask you, what yeah. do you miss the most? I miss being, do you know what? I miss being indoors with a fire on, with my new, with my new fluffy um, socks and new jammers after a bath. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, look, I'm really hoping you get back to that situation again soon. Uh, even though your situation, you know, you're out on the streets, what's the one thing you're the most grateful for even then? I'm grateful for people's help. The people help Without you? people helping me, I don't know where I'd be. Because I've had no money, nothing, benefits, nothing, because I've struggled around it all. And where I'm in a different area as well, I'm just waiting for it all to get sorted out now. Because where I'm not very well at the moment as well is hard. COVID-19, did that okay. affect you in any way? Uh, like in you becoming homeless? Or not really? It made it harder to... It's made, it's made life harder. Okay. Yeah, it has. More, it, more isolated, more, even more alone out here, actually. Because no one wants to come near us. Because okay. I'm on the street and they think that you're dirty or... Ooh, yeah, they treat you, yeah, it has changed people. People think you're dirty now. So, the one year you've been homeless, what's the meanest thing someone has done to you? I got mugged. Yeah. And I got beat up. Yeah. A lot, a bit more than that, but we won't go there. But yeah, not, not good is it, things, babe. Is it, is it regular people that do these things or other homeless people? Both. Both. 
both, yes. Not so much now, other um, people, it's more the, the homeless, because the drinkers and everything are not around, the, the pubs and all that. Yeah. Because the pubs and that are not open, you don't really seem to get any trouble. And uh, what's the nicest thing someone has done for you? Brought me into the house and give me new clothes and a bath. Yeah, and give me some money to get somewhere to stay. Yeah. So there, there's a few acts of kindness happening as well. Um, if you had a magic wand and you could ask for one wish, what would your one wish be? <laughs> oh, okay. So my wish would be, yeah. like I said, in front of the fire with my slippers and my jammies, mm. with my children. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, and uh, what items do you normally need? Is it um, what kind of clothing items do you normally require quite a lot? Sleeping bag, um, socks. At the moment, you don't have a sleeping bag, no. do you? No. Um, I'm hoping to get in somewhere. I won't need it. Cause it if you have it longer than a day, someone just takes it. You can't keep hold of it. Put okay. it down, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Did other homeless people help you on, on the streets? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. But they're mean and all, very mean. Yeah. Yeah. What gets you through these hard times then? I just keep it in the day. I don't know, I'm not even... I am, little steps, I'm trying. I'm trying little steps to, to get through things, but... Being, um, being homeless, what's the one lesson that you've learned? One lesson I've learned being homeless. Um, one lesson I've learned being homeless. Stay on guard. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, stay on guard because you never know what's coming round the corner. Seriously, one minute is happy, next minute it's dangerous. Very, and, uh, very dangerous people out there. When you, please don't mind me asking yeah, you, but when you say dangerous, what, what do you mean? Well, one minute, it's, yeah, you've got very nice people, yeah, that are friendly. And then you've got people that will be very abusive. Or you've got alcoholic drinking people as well, um, who are um, uh, violent, you know, so. Oh. What's your final <laughs> message to everyone out there? What would you like them to know? Uh, just thank you for helping me. And um, I hope that um, people can just like, um, outreach teams can help me a bit more, help us a bit more. And actually, the other thing is, don't always prejudge as well, assuming that everyone's on drugs, like, because, you know, some people on medication, yeah, and that we ain't all got diseases. We might just be a little bit dirty because we couldn't get McDonald's toilets no more to have a wash. <laughs> and also, two years there ago... There isn't any toilets either, that's another thing. That's another thing. There's one toilet, and it's unisex now, at the whole of Candom. There's no, there's no way we'll let you go to the toilet. Not even anybody. Okay. Because of the COVID. That's, yeah. that's one reason, yeah. And um, and also, two years ago, you were just like everyone else and you had your regular life as I well. Did. So I did. It was, could happen to anyone. I was doing college. I was, happen to I was doing a lot of things. Were you working as well? I was doing um, voluntary work uh, in a treatment centre myself. Yeah, I've done my. Um, Counseling certificate level two, health and social care. I went back to do my maths, English, and IT. I've got my driving license. I've got loads of things going for me. Okay, I'm just ju stuck. Just, just last question then. Did your family not try and help you? They have. Yeah. They have then in the you, past. And what happened? Did you refuse the help? Certain things happened and it's put a block there. Okay. I love my family. It's a bit. But my dad and I prefer my mum. All right, thank you so much.